Hi, fourth grade. This is Mrs. Brand. Um, I'm going to talk to you about spelling, uh, page 200. If you look at the screen here, you'll see that I have homographs up at the top, words that are spelled alike but are different in origin, meaning, and pronunciation. So in other words, it's spelled M-I-N-U-T-E, but sometimes it's pronounced one way and sometimes it's pronounced another way and it'll have different meanings as well. So when we look at the sentence, we had one blank to solve the problems. Is it a unit of time or is it something kind of small? And in this case, it's a unit of time. We had one minute to solve the problems. And so in this case, M-I-N-U-T-E means minute. On the second one, apple seeds are very minute this one means small, and we pronounce it minute. This one is min it, minute. So minute means small. In your spelling books, you have the same type of thing. You have M-I-N-U-T-E with a one next to it. You have M-I-N-U-T with a two next to it. And what you're going to do is decide how is that word used? Is it like one, a unit of time, or is it like two, meaning small? It took a blank to answer the phone. So is that minute or is it minute? And in this case, it would be minute. So if that was the sentence in my spelling book, I would write M-I-N-U-T-E, and I'd put a little one after it, like you see right there. When I have number two, sentence number two, I saw a blank snowflake on the window, in that situation, would it mean a unit of time or would it mean something small? And in that case, we would have something small. So we'd put minute, or minute I should say, with a two next to it. Okay, um, so in your book, that's what you'll do. Uh, minute if it's with a one after it or if it's minute then put a two after it check and see in the sentence does it make sense as a unit of time or does it make sense as a small thing all right um, if you have any questions about that um, just give me a shout out and I will um, help you out with that and uh, that's it for the smell the spelling oh and by the way um, if they have um, in the second page there it says the idea of um, of having the upside down e uh, that's the schwa sound the uh words um, that are spelled with an a and that's like on the second page so um, but you've done that before so that shouldn't be too bad all right, you guys have a good day and a good week, and God bless.